you remember when we drew something like this? This is a still life. You guys are going to be drawing this because we drew it once before, but you're gonna do it again. Today you're gonna, you learned a lot about some of the vocabulary about still lifes. You learned about cast shadows and highlights and medium tones and dark tones and oculent shadow. And so we're gonna be using all that to create this again. And it's gonna be much more improved than the first one that you did. Okay, okay let's so here get Here we have the picture. The first thing that I wanna draw is going to be the background. So I'm gonna do a really thin line right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put where I'm gonna put my orange. Actually my orange is up just a titch. Notice I'm drawing really lightly because you can go back in and erase the parts that you need to erase. Then I have the line. And a happy people. Okay, now I have kind of outlined where I'm going to put everything. And I know that the light source is coming from over here. Okay, so you can draw like a little light right there. So kind of remind yourself that's where the light's coming. Okay, actually I think the light's actually coming from up here, so let me erase that. There we go. Light source is coming from like up here. Okay. So if my light source is coming from here, I know that right here is going to be where my highlight is, right? Medium tone from down here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the stem in. And I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for you to try. This is gonna be where my darkest shadow is, right around the stem, because I have the opulent shadow. And I have another shade right here that's a little bit lighter than that one. My stem's gonna be pretty dark, especially on the one side, because that's where the shadow is. And then it's going to be a little bit of a medium tone on this side, and then there's a highlight right towards the top there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on the side and start to put my medium tone, and it starts to get a little bit darker on the edge here. doing some of my cast shadows so on the image it goes from dark to light when I'm pressing harder so there's more pressure it's a little bit clearer on the edges a little bit lighter For this lemon, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of giving it like it's drawing. Now I gotta go back and clean this part up. But it's starting to look most like what you see above. Next I'm gonna go ahead and do this part in the background, which I just need a dark tone.
Okay, and there we go. That's it. So now you're gonna have to do this. I'm gonna give you a separate piece of paper so that it looks like that, but you're gonna try to get it as close as you can to the original. This is like the best practice for drawing the actual object and shading. You guys will be having a second part to this project and you will see that next week. Bye.